Hey, what is up everybody? My name's Starlord. I hope that you're all having a fantastic day. I know for a fact that for some of you Android users out there, it's going to get a whole lot better because we've just had some official news from Fortnite themselves on when we can expect to see Fortnite Mobile on Android devices, which makes me very happy because my girlfriend is the only person in this house that has an Apple product and honestly her phone is tiny, whereas I have this Samsung Note and I've been dying to play Fortnite on this for so, so long. I mean, I would get so many kills on this bad boy. Look how big that is, it's huge. Um, but anyway, before we do get into the video, guys, please do not forget to leave a like. It will just help me out on the channel. And also subscribe if you haven't already for more updates just like this about Fortnite Battle Royale. And uh, also, I don't know if you know already, but basically when the Apple version of Fortnite came out or the iOS version, they actually had to send out free codes to people people and uh, you know some people got in some people never to the beta and if they do that again for the Android release uh, I will be doing a load of code giveaways because I have kind of a way of getting a lot of codes I'll give them out to you guys completely free so if you do not want to miss out on getting a code for your Android make sure to click subscribe and turn on notifications and just wait for those videos uh, but anyway enough of that let's get into talking about all of this brand new information so it actually seems like they've been making a lot of progress on the mobile version of Fortnite. They actually released a whole thread about it today on their website saying state of mobile and basically went over a couple of things that they've changed, such as customizable hood. As you can see on screen right now, they actually added so that you can actually customize everything on your mobile device. So let's say, for example, if you wanted a jump, you could put the jump button in the top right hand side of your mobile, you know, so you could press it there. If you wanted to shoot with your left thumb, you could place it there. It's really interesting stuff that they're doing this because you, basically when you have your Android version of this game, you're going to have all of this already and that's going to make the game so much better and easier for you guys to actually adapt to and play once you get it on your devices. So I'm really happy that they've done that and I'm glad that they're focusing on mobile uh, too. It's, it's actually pretty cool that they're not just focusing on the main kind of things such as, you know, PC, Xbox and PS4. Um, other than that, we do also have uh, some news that Voice chat is coming to mobile. They see here that uh, we know that communication is key when you're squatting go for that victory royale. We're working to bring voice chat on mobile. On top of that, you'll be able to chat with your teammates regardless of what platform you're on. So basically, when you guys do get on your Android, let's say for example your friend is on their iOS device, you're still going to be able to actually communicate with each other using the in-game voice chat, which is very, very needed when you're playing squads or even duos. So I'm really happy that that's actually a thing, to be honest. I really like that. Um, other than that, they do say that they're making gameplay and control uh, improvements and everything like that, making it a little bit more smoother to play, a little bit more easier because I played it on the iPhone and genuinely it's so difficult if you have a small phone and not everyone can get like huge phones these days and uh, I know the troubles of that, you know, honestly, I really do. And uh, yeah, I can imagine that for people with really tiny phones, it can be a little bit difficult. So I'm glad that they're actually focusing on that too, because I know for a fact that a lot of my viewers do have the older generations of mobiles. So uh, yeah, that's really, really cool. Other than that too, they're talking about installation size. Apparently, right now to download Fortnite on your mobile, it's very, very, like it's a very big file uh, kind of size. And that's making it very difficult for people to download it and free up space on their mobile. So what they actually said here is that they're actually kind of compressing pressing down the size of each update, making it better so that you can actually download and not have so much pressure on your phone's memory. So that's really, really cool. And now other than that, let's go into the exciting information. It's only a little brief kind of paragraph, but still, you know, it gives us an estimate of when we can expect Fortnite on Android. And it will be, I can proudly say, in the next couple of weeks, guys. That's very exciting. But here it says on screen, I'll probably put a little, like a little uh, screenshot. It says here, Android. Fortnite is coming to Android. We are targeting this sugar. Uh, wait, what? That, that makes no sense. We're targeting this summer for the release. We know many of you are excited for this release, and we promise that when we have more information to share, you'll hear it from us first. So basically, summer, that guys. Summertime is it's now. I mean, in the UK, it's summer pretty much. So we're pretty much going to be getting Fortnite within the next eight weeks. Within the next eight weeks, that is pretty much when they're saying. I mean, obviously, they say we're targeting summer for release. So, obviously, there might be a couple of glitches that they need to press out. And may, it may actually get put back a little bit. But, honestly, what they're saying here is that Fortnite on mobile may be coming in the next eight weeks, which is really cool. Um, basically, in the UK, like, summer doesn't really last that long. It lasts for six weeks or so. And, uh, yeah, 
it's just kind of cool that they're actually targeting this release date and uh, I think it's really cool too because a lot of people are going to be off school and they're going to be able to actually like sit down and actually play Fortnite on their mobiles without being disturbed, without having homework to kind of worry about and everything. So that's really, really cool that they're actually going for that release date. Um, other than that, they haven't actually released any other big news about Android Mobile, but you know, they did say that they're going to be having uh, more information to share in the next couple of weeks. And once they have that, guys, I will be the number one channel to actually do that. <laughs> Sorry about my son, he's actually like shouting and everything like that downstairs, he's very excited, he just came home from school. Uh, but anyway guys, like I said, as soon as they release any more information, bigger information or even gameplay on mobile devices such as Android, Samsung, uh, Note 7s or 8s or whatever, um, I will have the update for you guys on my YouTube channel. So do make sure to check that out and uh, yeah, I guess just have an awesome day, enjoy the brand new updates for Fortnite Battle Royale, shut up phone and uh, yeah, I guess until next time. I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.